Hello everyone, Brian here, welcome to the Top Plays and Set series. Today I will be covering the first two weeks, let's get into it. At number 5 we have Onyx Ray Crazer and his Manibus, doing what he does best, and it is stalling people out very annoyingly. Using a combination of Roost, Knockoff, Taunt and Whirlwind, it effectively stalled out my Scizor and Shaman. Taunt kept Scizor from roosting and defogging, while this Whirlwind was able to slowly chip the opposing Pokemon down. Switching to Zygarde at the right time also sealed the deal by leaving Shaman with no more Siege players, and after that it was helpless against it. Props to you, Onyx. Next up on our list we have Gradialist Chestnut as the perfect Bulu answer. In combination with Toxpex, this Pokemon was able to wear down the team greatly, shaking off any Earthquake standing in Toxpex's way, while dealing some great damage with his Woods Hammer. At the end of the game, it was able to take out the remaining Bulu and Lopene easily, thanks to its Synthesis, Poison Jab and Rocky Helmet. At number 3 we have Sam with his Slurpuff named Kosak which he wanted me to mention, who with the bold nature is able to stand in the way of any physical attacker, even Megalopony, recovering itself back up with the Wish Protect combo. Lotus was totally helpless against Lurpruff, as it slowly but surely was able to take down the remaining last three Pokemon. Up next we have Goomba's Araquanid, with its set designed to take out Melodic using Entrainment to make its Flame Orb useless, and using Toxic to wear it down, Alongside Rest and Scald, this Pokemon was able to stand tall against Jirachi by burning and resting adjustably. Even though this set did not accomplish what it set out to do, which is Toxic in Myelotic, it still achieved victory against Pokemon the team would have otherwise struggled with. Warrants it a spot on this list. Before we get into the number one spot, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Now how could I make this video without mentioning the seemingly unbreakable presence Toxpex has had on the Generations League? With it, Cradle's team has been absolutely unstoppable and thus far unbeaten. The reason this Pokemon did not make it into the top 5 was because its sets simply were too simple and I didn't really stall out a team like Manibus. Regardless, it'll be curious to see how the Generations League deals with the menace in the future. This Assault Vest Zapdos did a wonderful job at not only providing the team with U-turn momentum, but it was also able to clean the remaining 3 Pokemon with its Stab Discharge. The reason I did not include this Pokemon in the top 5 is because it had its Assault Vest knocked off, so it didn't actually uh, have any use in the battle. Either way, I think it's a very cool uh, thing to see a traditionally tanky Pokemon used in this way. Props to use life. And finally, at the number one spot, we have Nate and his Arcanine. This unique set consisting of Hidden Power, Ice or Glass Core, Flare Blitz as its stab move, Wild Charge for Tornadoes and Extreme Speed to counter its brave nature, it was able to take out a total of 5 Pokemon in one consecutive run. With Assault Vest aiding it to withstand her gains and other special moves, this set is a perfect example of why I set out to bring back this series. Way to go Nate! 